Let, let's talk about those tattoos. Okay. Okay. When I asked Sarah, do you ever regret your tattoos? What she said is no, because each of them has a meaning for me. They have a meaning. They have a story, a story, a symbolism. So let's talk about this one, Awaken. Tell us about Awaken. Awaken happened six years ago. I went on a spiritual journey to find myself and understand my purpose, why God created me, why am I in this world, why are we here? And this is when I escaped the matrix and I realized that not everything I've learned was right. Not everything I was told was right. So I had to unlearn and reprogram my mind to discover who I really am and forget who I was told to be by society, by family, by culture, by everything. I like that. Yeah. One of the taglines we were going to use for Mind Valley is awaken greatness. Yeah. Now this one is really interesting. So this is a Cupid. This is a Cupid because I was always loving and I, I love spreading love and I, you know how Cupid is, you know, sweet and spreading love all the time and all that. But then I learned through life that the same Cupid can over here wear a bandana and have a gun because if you don't stand up for yourself, you can be the kindest person in the world, but if you don't stand up for yourself, you're self-betraying yourself. Ooh, I like so that. So it's called self-betrayal. That is like the Buddha and the badass. Yeah, and the I noticed that's the, the word badass. rebel under the Cupid. Yeah, because I've been born a rebel. And then this love is the latest one because every time I fell in love, I gave like so much to the person and they say they love me, but then it wasn't true love. So every time I meet people, it's a question mark. Is this true love or, or not? You know? That's interesting. Yeah, so love, question mark. So are, do you really love me about, or you don't? What about the bee? Bees. So bees, I went to a bee, a bee farm um, in Italy. And um, I was amazed to know that bees, the minute they're born, they know exactly what type of bee they are, where their job is, what their job is and how to do it without even being trained or told. So bees are born knowing their purpose. And I feel like humans are like that, but then education, culture, and all that erases our memory and makes us dependent. I noticed a bee on this flower yeah, here I as well. Yeah, I love bees, yeah. That's the matrix, that's me escaping the matrix. <laughs> that's amazing. Who was your tattoo artist? Alina, she's amazing. She's an amazing tattoo artist. That's Instagram, Alina2. Alina yeah, too, she's yeah. from Ukraine, she's so and good. she's the one I'm considering for my new tattoo. She's a fine artist as well. Thing. That's beautiful. It's like a, a flower um, a ribbon on the on the arm because I've done I've have so many um, I have immune diseases. I've right. done so much surgeries. I removed my gallbladder, so my body went through a lot. So for me to honor my body, I put like a, a ribbon with flowers on because I love it. You know, you've been through a lot, baby. That's I it. like that. Yeah. I like that. So that that's a beautiful way of accepting yeah. of, of embracing of love for your body. What about your other bicep? I see light worker. This is light worker because I know I am one hundred percent a light worker. Okay. And, and then I have give. Give. Okay. Yeah. That's that's your giving nature. That's my first tattoo ever. It says faith. Why, why, what did that mean to you? Because if you have faith and you surrender to God and you know that God never does anything to harm you, whether it's good or bad, everything flows. Everything flows. Nothing bothers you anymore. That's amazing, Sarah. Thank you. You're welcome.